Hey everybody, welcome back to About the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. If you guys are new, how about clicking that subscribe button? Well, today I'm gonna be ranking all seven movies that I saw this month. Um, out of all of them, I only do not have a review. Sorry, that's my cocoa drinking some water. Wait, are you done? Five minutes later. I do not have a review for one of them because I actually just finished watching one today. So we're going to go ahead and start off with A Bird to Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. So I think this movie was, it was pretty fun. Um, I didn't think it was, was it great? I don't think it was great to be honest with you. I, yeah, I'm trying to think that maybe I wanted the great section, but... No, I really don't think it was. I think it was just a fun movie. We got Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn again, and I think she now that character she plays her great. We're gonna be seeing her next in the um Su and Suicide Squad. But I mean this was a great um uh, female ensemble. This is how you do a uh, all female like kick-ass movie really enjoyed the villain who was played by Ewan McGregor I think that he really killed it all right so up next we got Sonic the Hedgehog and I'm gonna go ahead and say that was also fun no you know what I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the great category and the only reason I'm gonna put it up a tier higher is because I want to give them credit for basically realizing the error and the uh, screw up that they did with the, the original design of Sonic. So one of the things that I did forget to mention, I don't even know how it is that I forgot to mention Jim Carrey's performance in this. And I mean, I really enjoyed it where it was like an over the top, but I don't feel like it was as over the top as we know how Jim Carrey can really take these characters. You know, we've seen him go like above and beyond, you know, and make like the absolute most ridiculous thing. He could have necessarily done something like that with Dr. Robotnik, but you know, I feel like he kind of kept it in the here level for the most part. So up next would be Netflix's To All The Boys P.S. I Love You, and that is just an enjoyable movie. But it's just not for me. I'm just too old for it. I can't relate. It had its cute moments. I was like, okay, maybe if I was, you know, 10, 15 years younger, then I would totally I can see myself really loving this movie. Um, apparently it's like a book series, so I don't know if part three is the last book or if it goes up to four. I really honestly don't know. So if anything, I'll just do like a review like on Letterbox instead of doing something here when part three comes out. Oh, I'm on Letterbox now. <laughs> so I'll have those this that link down below. Do I have a link? I don't even know, you guys. I'm new on there. I think I have like maybe like two weeks. I have maybe like five reviews on there don't actually go into like huge like long ass paragraphs or like a story about you know the movie that i'm talking about because i'm not a great writer i mean i could barely even speak it, the writing is not any better you guys go and check me out there and, and you can check out that um my thoughts on the movie that i saw today oh uh, you know what let me go ahead and just get to that movie that I keep saying. Uh, it is another Netflix movie and it is um, All the Bright Places. And I'm actually going to say that that movie was great. Um, and I know it's not a movie that's going to be for everybody given the topic of the, uh, of the story which is about mental illness. And it also is about a teen romance so a lot of people may not like those two combinations together. Honestly I went into this movie not knowing anything about it. I didn't even see a trailer for it. Um, I just saw that Elle Fanning was in there and I really love her. I think she's a great um, actress you know of her generation. Um, Justin Smith I love them in uh, Detective the Pikachu quite honestly I feel like this may be his best performance that I've seen so far I do want to uh, listen to the book just to see how close it is to the story so if you've uh, read the book and seen the movie let me know down below what you guys thought about it 
how close the stories together because I know that the movie always changes things up. And I'm actually surprised that Netflix doesn't have like a warning trigger sign deal going on with this because this could be very triggering to you know quite a few people uh, just because it is dealing with mental illness. The score in here was really really good as well. Now the only thing that I did not like about the movie was that there is like a little montage of like their love deal which i feel like it went on a little bit too long i could have gone a little bit less with it maybe they could have you know cut through each little scene a little bit quicker and been done with it and had focused a little bit more on finch which is played by uh justice smith because we really never truly i felt got into his character and what overall it is that he has and what's going on and kind of digging a little bit deeper into who he really is as the character which is why i want to um, listen to the book that's just one of the things that i that i felt that the movie missed out on was just kind of incorporating a little bit more on what um really made finch finch i mean overall i really actually like this movie pre-worn if you are somebody who gets triggered by stuff like this and maybe stay away from the movie um but if you're not then i do recommend for you guys to see this movie all right, moving on to My Boyfriend's Meds. That movie is, I guess, I guess it exists. I honestly didn't really like it. I, no, it just wasn't for me. It was just a little bit too ridiculous. It also kind of focuses on mental illness, but of course in this one it is more of a comic way i didn't like his imaginary friends which were like a little pill in a tablet i feel like they were used a little bit too much i really wish we had uh, got a little bit less of them we're gonna move on to my last netflix movie which is the last thing that he wanted and that one is you suck like i said in the, my review i don't even know what the hell this movie was about i don't get it who is he I don't know you guys don't even don't waste your time that's two hours of your life you're never gonna get back um so last movie on my list would be emma um emma was was an enjoyable movie it's another one that's not for everybody it does have a couple like comedic uh scenes to it but for the most part it was pretty dull and i know you're probably like well why do you have it in enjoyable because overall everything that's included in the movie you know the um what's it called the score the cost of the costumes were just amazing the set design the, everything was just done really really great there were some scenes i don't know if you guys feel the same way as well that didn't feel as polished as they should have but i mean overall it was an enjoyable movie I don't see myself re-watching it like i said in my review if you are a fan of jane austen if you love period pieces and you're really going to enjoy um emma but other than that i really don't recommend for you guys to see this all right you guys that is all that i have for you guys today that is my ranking on all the movies that i saw in the month of february 2020 let me know down below uh what movies you guys saw in the month of february how do you guys rank them did you watch any of the movies that i watch please 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 do not watch the last thing you wanted you guys I even had a very forgettable like title but seriously don't watch that movie and if you watch it don't come at me because i pre-warned you like seriously you guys it is not worth your time oh my god just don't if you watch the movie leave this emoji down below all right before you guys take out this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and of course don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new till next time i'll be seeing you guys in confessions bye